If you like the video, please consider supporting James Corp on Patreon. Hello everyone and welcome to week 9 of our Tales from the Old World. As you can see I've got a little new overlay here that actually hides the dice roller and I can get rid of it and it'll bring the dice roller in if it was on. Hang on. What is going on there? Uh... Anyway, while I'm sorting this out, hi everyone. Welcome again to um, this week's Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay game. Um, we will be getting people to introduce their characters. I'm playing uh, Elsa Siglobin, who is a witch hunter, who's recently had the shit kicked out of her and all her stuff stolen. So she's pretty <laughs> useless. Um, but she did kick the shit out of, like, three of the six fucking um, uh, uh, attackers by herself. So, you know, she is a pretty mean machine when it comes down to it. Claytor. Hi, I play Ferdinand. I'm a silent wizard, mage, person, mathingamabob, who Elsa loves slash hates. Uh, I'm not as corrupt as everybody else, but I'm pretty corrupt. Uh, Bohemians, there. That's what we're doing today. Yep. <laughs> well, hello everyone. I'm Bohemians, and I play Salundro von Drakenberg. So he's a rebellious son of a influential Duke von Drakenberg, raised in the military, and uh, now he's uh, seeking for his own fortune. Uh, and actually, even though people uh, say otherwise, he has a strong sense of right and wrong. It's just his way of uh, making things uh, different. It's just a different approach. And I would say Fishy. That's correct. Hey. Uh, I'm Fishy, and I am playing uh, Barragund, the Dwarven Slayer, uh, who has... <sighs> despite his best wishes, got roped up into a long-term city gig, which is really not the most enjoyable thing for a Slayer to do. So he's having to, you know, try to keep himself a little bit in check, which uh, he's trying to play both sides, I guess. He's looking for the bad guys to, to, you know, punch, and the good guys to keep from being punched. Uh, who do we have left? Let's Brian. go, Brian. Yep. I'm playing uh, Balig the Gaunt. He's the uh, skinniest dwarf in the old world and Elsa's best friend. Most untrustworthy wolf. Wolf. See what I mean? Totally. Dwarf. 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 Not wolf. Uh, he's a little bit. Wait, he's a Klingon? <laughs> he clings onto people's legs. Let him finish his introduction. Sorry. <laughs> he's a little bit unused to being on this side of the uh, law, but he's trying not to let the power go to his head. And Danny, take it away. Hello, my name is Danny, and I'm the game master. Um, I'm, um, yeah, just that I'm the game master. I'm having a blast, uh, ready to get into this uh, tonight's game. Uh, I think, uh, Clayton, do you win? What? What? I won? I won. No. Do oh no, I went. Say? Yeah, I was I was just after James. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Danny's That's had a how long time. unimportant you are. That's how wow. it is. Wow. That's not very nice. Sorry, guys. Play to you, are very important to me. A Danny... silent a silent mage. Look at that. <laughs> exactly. Danny has had a very hard day at work. That's just no. You mean a long day. You mean a long day. Oh, yeah, it's been a very long, <laughs> hard day at work. <laughs> Clearly he's come home to unwind with some Warhammer and he forgets about me, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm, not I'm definitely good. I'm definitely come home to some Warhammer because it would be some energy for the whole week. So it's perfect. So okay. Uh tonight uh I want you guys to do the recap. Uh, uh, and I actually wanted to make it from your character's perspective. So make the recap talking like your character is doing the recap. And we go for everybody. So uh, what somebody else says maybe is totally different what uh, the other character uh, uh, perceive. But I want you guys to, to go with your character's uh mindset when we do that recap is that okay sure 
Okay, uh, let's start with you, Bohemians. Uh, Salundro. Well, uh, it was a typical uh, Watchmen day. I don't know, it's the first day, so I think for me it's typical. Boring. Um, so we continued uh, our um, whatever watching, doing the watch thing, and uh, we finally arrived. Uh, I think I don't remember the last. I mean, the when we finished and when we began, the... we were arriving arriving mm -hmm. at the at the inn, or was that? Yeah, it's an inn, and it's called. Uh, one second. The crooked, the crooked hammer, or something. Yeah, that's yes. exactly it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So we arrive at the crooked uh, hammer because uh, it was time for dinner, supper, lunch, break, whatever. And when we arrived there, there was a big uh, fight between uh, uh, Aldorfers, I mean uh, soldiers, and uh, just everybody else in the. Um, in the tavern, so we joined the fight. When no, no, first we tried to uh, bring peace and order, and it didn't work. So we had to kick some ass. So that was a I good. Didn't uh, have to kick any ass? You did. I just had to go up and stand on the bar and yell at people to stop fighting and throw bottles at them. It seemed to work <laughs> plenty well. Well, we did. I'm what, what, a lot we had less to... worse for wear than you are. <laughs> Yeah, I got a bottle in the face when I arrived, so that didn't help with the temper. <laughs> fair, fair. I mean, if I had taken a bottle to the face, it probably wouldn't have went as calmly. Yeah. Because you're forgetting that we did actually, like, right before that, we just finished putting, a, well, <laughs> kind of just walked off with the building on fire. But we saved people from a building. But that's the, the, the other... No, no, no. We had to save like one more person. Oh, there was someone trapped. Uh, you're right. You're right. A giant. So we we made like one mad rush back into the building to find him. Narbe sure. is his name. Narbe. Yes. There you go. Clayton. <laughs> he keeps doing this. This has become his thing. <laughs> I noticed it when I edited the videos. He keeps doing that. <laughs> the mime thing? Yeah. No, Silent Wizard. Uh, um, so I had to hold some guns and a hat uh, from Salundro and Elsa. So I was bailing buckets for the bucket brigade to help put out that fire. And... My robes got wet. I was very upset. Um, but, you know, it's, it's fine. I'm used to that. Uh, then we went to some really seedy pub and got some food um, after the, the, the guys and girls, the dwarf and Salundro and Elsa, uh, had saved somebody. And I think they treated us to lunch. I can't remember. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, did, I, I didn't end up paying. That's all I know. Fifty percent discount, I think. Yeah, I I didn't end up paying at least. Um, <laughs> Elsa got really frustrated and left. Uh, I don't know what happened to her. Um, she didn't like the food, the menu, or something. She didn't like the menu. She didn't like the job. She didn't like uh, how the Muppet uh, uh, looked uh, or something like that. She she um, has so, she, she has issues with what our sentence is. Mm, uh, she has issues um, with the realities of of what we've been sentenced. No, to. she has she has she has issues with the corruption that we're doing. I don't know. She was not there. You know what our problem is? Is she doesn't drink. You can't trust <laughs> anyone that doesn't. Drink. <laughs> I mean, she already has a natural dislike for me, but, you know, that's besides the point. <laughs> I just uh, think the corruption is just an inherent part of the whole position. So I, mean, I left in... So Elsa left because she... Talk talk like you. Talk like if you were. Okay. Elsa. So Elsa yeah. was basically trying to find out who started the fight and basically trying to arrest those that started the fight. Because the thing is... Everyone's blaming everyone else, and we're not getting to the bottom of it. All it's doing is making the thing, the 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 the, the situation worse. 
and when when our watch leader was like no no don't worry about it we'll let them go i was like well, yeah but this is not how things are done this is not how we get to the bottom of, of of a problem and solve the problem we're just basically brushing it under a mat and then hoping it goes away but eventually that mat's gonna just be filled with garbage and it's gonna spill over so yeah so she left she she she, she was sick of she was sick of everyone taking taking money on the job um <laughs> when you know that's not what you do in that job you know our pay comes from the taxes that that are levied upon on the city by the count the council and we again get paid by the council yeah i know i know but that's her feeling she thinks she thinks everyone in this everyone in this party is corrupted <laughs> so she abandoned us no mm -hmm. she, you've abandoned oh, yeah. her we by not we're... by not doing the right thing brian can you add something to the conversation yeah well the fit um so bailey just helped with the water he was not gonna go in the burn try, the try to talk like, oh, like yeah bailey. in the first yeah. person okay yes yeah fire is pretty scary so i didn't want to have anything to do with that but then my favorite part of the day rolled around when we go to the tavern and eat and drink um and there was a fight so we Tried to break that up by various means. Um, <laughs> I kind of followed Berrigan's uh, lead. And when I've had a little bit of strong drink in me, apparently there's this side of me that comes out that I didn't know about before, <laughs> where I try to use my 18 fellowship to convince people to do what I want them to do. And by some amazing luck, it worked this time. So then Bailey proceeded to get really drunk and uh, doesn't really remember a whole lot after that. <laughs> ba or he does remember Elsa sort of wandering out uh, in a... She seemed Elsa. really upset about something, but I think he's getting used to that now. Elsa, what happened <laughs> on the way to the watch uh, station? So I was being followed. Uh, so I was being followed by... Um somewhat two people so uh i w i wanted to confirm that i was being followed because i wasn't 100 sure if i was being followed so i pulled down to a i went down a back alley to make sure that i was not being followed and sure enough and i, I scooped around some barrels or some garbage cans or whatever and sh sure enough she two people the two people that she thought was following her walked past her down the alleyway so she was definitely being followed and then she just stood out behind them and put her pistols to their heads and then suddenly if by magic two people uh three more people three or four more people came running four. down the, right. the pa passageway so she yep. shot and killed one of them that was coming for her uh and then she shot another one and injured them and then she darted around the corner to put herself in in a a, a a position where she wasn't going to get completely surrounded and um yeah basically fought for her life and was basically pretty much killed <laughs> oh and lost her guns and whatever she was pretty much killed yeah but you said you weren't salty anymore james <laughs> I might not be so until, until we made it relive it. No. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's take it from when we ended last time. Um, you guys were one second, let me check. I have the right building on. We were arriving at the tower, I think you guys were leaving the bar, right? We were yes. on our yeah, we were leaving the bar to head back to, yeah. We had talked to that kid outside the bar. I can't oh, remember. true. We missed a kid. The kid, he wanted us at midnight to take us to the shanty, shanty town. And we said, not, not sure, not now. Come back tomorrow. That smells oh, like yeah. a trap. Yeah. Mm. Okay. But actually, he didn't insist. He said yes, and he would come back uh, and pick us up at the tower in the morning after. Okay. So let's start there. You guys are heading to the tower. What's what's going on? 
Well, yeah, this I'm is tired. This is only our first watch, so we should probably take a nap and get ready for second watch. Because if this is first watch, I don't even want to know what the other thousand watches we have are going to do. Mm. Yeah. Is that three years? Thousand watches. Is that both? It's going to be a long three years. Yeah, three years. That's what, 400 uh, days a year or something? That's many, many days. Well, you know, we could just leave. We don't have to do this. Yeah, they have our names. Thank you. And there's a. Uh... Yeah. You use a real net? Oh, yeah, you probably do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't hide. So maybe you just need a nickname, Salundro. Yeah, we can Salundro. call you the, the Feather Chief. <laughs> okay, you guys arrive at the tower. Um, Sergeant Rudy is sitting on the table. Uh, He's awake? Yes. Is he drinking? Uh, yes. <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> Hey, Sergeant. Hello. Hello. We're back. Oh. Heroes have arrived. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, good night. Uh, somebody has to keep, uh, well, let's say like this. From tomorrow, you guys going to need to patrol yourself. Um, I think I've been showing you around on uh, um I would recommend that you 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 try to be a, a good guardsman, uh, a watchman, if you know what I mean. And he kind of like give you guys a blink. We get one day's training. That's it. Yeah, I think what? I think it's enough. Where are you gonna be? Well, I I I have uh, business to take care of. You know, I'm I'm a busy man. He says. This is, nothing, this is nothing like wizard school. So that's interesting. <laughs> as I go through and like just claim my, claim my bed. Uh, as you're about to to go in, it's like I'm in the, oh, oh, one, two, three, five, oh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Uh, uh, what is that a friend of yours? The one with the with the aptitude. Should be here sleeping. It, uh, wait, she's not in here. She left earlier. Don't you remember? She like stomped off. Well, yeah, but she's not here. It's like, where, where is she? Uh, I don't know. She didn't come back at all? No. Uh, Oh boy! She's Just think of the amount of trouble that she she's probably got herself into with she that like righteous indignation of hers. <laughs> she might be building, burning someone. Yeah, well, uh, you guys are under my uh, not protection, but like on the you know like Custody. assign it to me. Yeah, and uh, uh, if she's not here until tomorrow, I I gonna need to report to the captain that uh, you guys are um, uh, not fulfilling your duties, if, if you know what I mean. So so I would recommend uh, you guys go and find her. Did she say something? Like, what, what did she? She says. Well, she should be here. Unless she walked around the, and didn't come uh, straight here. You're going to have to go looking for Elsa like a stray dog. Yeah, well, we have to. Uh, Come on. Go looking for Ferdinand, get up. Fine. <laughs> I wasn't even comfortable yet anyways. So I guess um, we head back out into the city looking for Elsa. Where, yeah. where do we even begin looking? Well, she she was not on the on the docks where we walked. So she must be inside. Can we get the map? Uh Denny? Or she's just off the beaten track somewhere. Maybe she got mugged. 
on the other side of town. Uh, let's see. There we go. Um, Elsa, you are uh, lying on the floor. Uh, how are you feeling? So <laughs> injured, angry, lucky to be alive. And I'm probably going to start holding whatever, you know, holding my wounds and start sort of dragging myself towards the, the watch, the watchtower. As you try to get up, you kind of like, you know, like in the... I'm not getting game. up. I'm just okay, going to drag crawling, this, crawling. I'm just going to drag myself. As, as you are dragging yourself through through the floor, you kind <laughs> of like get the, like in video games when it comes like black and then it, you know, like gets back to... All right, so I'm passing out, yeah? Yeah, yeah, you, you are passing out. Uh, in one of those game. pass outs, you remember uh, your mother uh, giving you a lesson uh, after burning uh, a couple of heretics. <laughs> giving me a lesson after burning some heretics. It's, it's Listen, a good honey. childhood memory. It's, it's so beautiful. It's one of the best. The screams alone. So, so honey. So honey. <laughs> Can we replay so, this in Elsa's so, head? So honey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, so honey, this is this is how you build a fire, okay? You need to make sure. You need to make sure. The fire, you, need, yeah, you need to make sure that the fire is well, well oxygenated. Otherwise, it will go out. Yeah, you need you need it to you know you need a good airflow to keep the temperature at the right temperature to burn those heretic scum. You don't want to burn them too fast. You they gotta let to them you need to, Yeah, you need to make sure that they burn away. You need to you know basically cremate them. So yes, you need to build a high. high you need the air. You need a proper airflow. And yeah. you know, <laughs> lots of green wood. This is like Burns fucking nice wicker and man. <laughs> And this, um, is, this is how you properly make sure that those scummy heretics heretics are taken care of. Because you know what you know what happens when you don't behave behave uh, Elsa. You're a heretic, and you go on the stake. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Jesus Christ! <laughs> as you as you are, you know, like it's going out on black and remembering, you know, like your your childhood you kind of hear like a like a voice uh uh telling you that uh, it's all a lie i'm just ignoring that voice and i'm just <laughs> if I, i'm gonna keep push i'm gonna keep pulling myself um as you you keep dragging and and this voice kind of like uh keep like speaking it's kind of like uh S surrender like just just give up i mean why why to suffer so much um, and i'm gonna say under my breath never give up never surrender and I'm <laughs> okay i'm uh, movie quote man uh, or girl. Let's, see. let's see uh the Can rest you of you the map so i'm not in one corner uh what can you ping the map so I'm not in one corner, please? Yeah, I ping. I, what do you mean I ping the map? There we go. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think you also, I've got a question for you as well during the break. So. Okay. Sure. What's going on with the rest? She went on the other side. That's why she never got to the Hang door. On, no, I didn't. I went straight to the bloody. Where's the watch? Where's the watchtower? On the exact the, opposite side. <laughs> what well, why am I up there? Why am, okay, I, so so you, there is two places. I thought you were going to the watch barracks where the captain is. No, I'm going where I sleep. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Tower. okay well, then it's um, this way, I guess. And you guys are more like here. Whoops. <laughs> oh, hi, oh, uh, oh, whoops. That moved the whole. That moved our whole district. <laughs> oh, there! <laughs> Suddenly, we're we're just patrolling the river. Hey, we're watchmen, not river no, watchmen. Yeah. Okay, so we're here. She's like there. So okay. there is three streets. Three, one, two, three. Oh, no, four streets. 
Life in the night is a little bit different. You kind of hear like dogs, dogs barking, um, people yelling at each other, uh, kind of like shady people looking at you, uh, somebody kind of in the corner is like, psst, eh, psst, eh, wants a fix. Psst, eh, psst. <laughs> Even the people, I mean, like us wearing a watchman's um, psst, hey, uniform. Psst, hey, you, you need some fix. Psst, hey, psst, hey. <laughs> uh, can I cast light? Uh, sure. Okay, I'm going to cast light on, on top of my uh, scythe. Oh, whoops. Uh, I have to click my token. That's right. I want to... After Clay's done that, I want to talk to one of the people going, psst, psst. God damn it! Why? <laughs> Why is the first roll of all of our games always a fail? Because you're rolling. That know, reminds right? me. I should restore I... my... How can you miss resolve. casting light? I don't know. Because Well, by rolling it's a 96... Magic. It's like, like trying to roll a 96 when he needed a 61. That's how he fouls. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it happens, Bohemian. I don't know if you understand that, but that's how it happens. I, I don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, you actually, when you cast light, you get a plus twenty to your nine. No, no, wait, wait, wait. If you pass an, uh -huh, okay. No, sorry. Oh, okay. He's giving you no, false no. hopes sorry, and promises sorry, there, sorry, Clayton. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah. What's going on, Barago? Spark and it's gone. <laughs> what's going on, Barago? Uh, so one of the guys that are like whispering or trying to get like attention, I uh, I kind of sidle up to him and I'm like, "What's going on?" Well, hey, do you want um, some hookah? Maybe. I also kind of want some information. Well, um, everything is for sale here. You seem like the kind of person that knows this neighborhood. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want some hookah? How much for the hookah? Well, I mean, new customer, I would say three brass coins. I pop him five and ask if he's heard any commotion in the uh, along the docks. Any anyone getting beat up or uh, any? Any gunshots in the last few hours? He turns around. He's like, mm, I think, I think, um, I think I hear, I think I hear something the other way. Some, some people running away. Just, just two blocks that way. But are you sure you don't want some hookah? No, no, I, I wanted the hookah. The, the, the extra two brass coins was just for the information. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. And he kind of like brings you out what it seems like a, a small brown compact uh, thing. Mm -hmm. And he kind of like give it to you and say, yeah, it's a great hookah, by the way. <laughs> great hookah? Um, oh. <laughs> no, no hooker. <laughs> oh. Uh, there we go. Uh, so I guess I take it. That's the <laughs> that's the pipe shit, isn't it? That goes in the the the, the va they they do in uh, like like uh a not Asian uh not that, the, not oh, that yeah. hookah. Yeah, no, it's it's not different. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that kind of hookah is H A A H, I think. So what's hookah then? What's that? Yeah, it sounds like it's a puck of drugs. <laughs> It's it's fantasy drugs. <laughs> Do you know how you get milk of the puppy? Plato knows. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I, know how to, you know, I know how to get a lot of things. That's besides the point. Oh, good. So, you, oh, uh, uh, you get a roll. So you get I, a poppy seed roll and you dip it in milk, and that's how you get. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, Jake. So. I uh, I return to the rest of them and kind of give them the. He's saying there were some gunshots and people running further down a couple blocks, and then I uh, I turn and look at Bayleg, um, and I toss him the hookah, 
Here, this is for what's us this? later. What's this? Do you, what do you do with this? I have okay. no idea. We'll figure it out. <laughs> in Maybe the we will know. In the I don't really like things. Here. Trust things that I can't drink, but. <laughs> In the distance, you kind of hear uh, thunder and a couple of small drops starts to fall. Oh, boy. Let's hurry up. I thought that was outside in real life. Yeah, uh, I, I kind of make toward, after telling them all that, I make toward the area where he was directing us to. Okay. Was it in that direction? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So let's, let's walk together. Let's not uh, separate. Elsa, as you keep dragging yourself to the. You know, I'm like, gonna. What I'm gonna yeah. do is I'm gonna spend a resolve to stand up and actually like fucking try and move move out of the um. Get out uh, into the into uh, uh, onto the main street. Okay. Sure. Because that's what resolve is for, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Yeah. So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. Use the wall to steady myself and start like walking down and, and, and like, like sort of you know a heavy heavy walk and, and just walk out onto okay. the was that a truck? Walk out onto the yeah. um, I walk out onto the docks and 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 then probably promptly fall over a barrel and then onto the floor again. Um, a loud cat kind of like yeah! you know as <laughs> as you fall. Uh, but you kind of fall into the what it seems like the main street, and uh, a couple of people uh, kind of like goes around and they're like, "Oh, hey, what's wrong with her? Oh, what's wrong with her? Hey, 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 what's up? Hey, are you okay?" I'm probably covered in blood. Yes, yes, but people are kind of like you know, like they're looking at you and like. You know, like, hey, hey, are you fine? Hey, hey, look at her. Hey, I think she got gang. You know, like, uh, she got fucked. <laughs> what about the rest? Uh, you guys kind of hear, the rest of you kind of hear the commotion from the distance. You kind of see, like, a couple of people, like, looking around something. I start uh, not running, but, you know, moving fast. Yeah. I make towards that. Okay. The commotion. Yeah. Yes. And then I'm assuming that we probably could kind of like push our way through any kind of small crowd that's building up. Yep. Guards, Sorry. guards, official guards, guards. I will fucking cut you down if you do not get out of my goddamn way, woman. <laughs> <laughs> that's our silent wizard. <laughs> this is what you get when you don't let him sleep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Is... As, yep. As you guys said there, you kind of like see Elsa. Um, how how describe it? Describe the wounds, uh, Elsa. Describe what. So they she's see. probably so she's probably crawled a little further down the docks as well. So there's probably mm -hmm. a trail of blood behind her. Mm -hmm. Um, she's she's she's. What kind of wounds are you sustaining right now? What so, kind of wounds do you well, have? I've probably got multiple slashes to my body. I've been I've had the shit kicked out of me, so I'm probably like got a few broken ribs, a few broken bones. Um, you know, uh, uh, yeah, I'm just uh, uh the I mean, my well, my chest area might be all right because I, I've got like chest armor, so. And they're not gonna. St they, they, they'd have to fucking faff around to steal that. So they're not gonna steal that. Um, okay. But yeah, I'm just yeah. I'm bruised. I've got probably a swollen face. I'm probably you know. I've probably I've probably got like blood dripping down a hand and stuff. Do like you that. still have your black hat? I don't know. Would I still have my uh, which hat? Cylindro. Cylindro's I... most important thing. <laughs> have your hat. <laughs> Is yeah, that okay? Oh god! Okay. The feathers are a little bit broken, I guess, but uh, you definitely have your hat on. Uh, Elsa, do me a toughness roll. Or would it be endurance? I think. Yeah, I think endurance. it would be endurance. Yes. She's going down. 
<laughs> Impressive failure. Uh, nice. Uh, you. Uh, five, yeah, five levels below. Yeah, so I yeah. failed by minus. He's gone. Uh, as, you, as you see your companions, uh, you feel once again that everything is going dark and you feel uh, very heavy. Uh, before you go out in blackout, you got one word that you can say. <laughs> uh, it's like it was the dock workers. Uh, that's too many words. <laughs> All right, word, you got one. one word. Choose revenge. Okay, no. okay. And, and as you say that, you kind of like fall out to the ground. What's going on with the rest? <laughs> Uh, well, we see, see the bloody the bloody Elsa there. Sorry, Jack, go, go ahead. What have you gotten yourself into? I start breaking up the crowd. Uh, if, you right. follow, if, you, if you follow the trail, you'll find two dead bodies, by the way. Maybe. <laughs> maybe if we follow the trail. No, I'd maybe if, if they left their, their bodies behind. Well, that's also true. If they if they decide to leave bodies behind, but, but, still we're not in, but it's also raining, <laughs> and we're not out. we're not investigator. We'll take you and and try to fix you. And and I'm a wizard in a robe. I do not feel comfortable in the rain or fire, or fire. Like there's two things I don't like: humidity. Those. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can and someone chlamydia. help me with my hat? I'm gonna. I, carry, I can carry your hat. Over. Yeah. I can carry her. Oh boy, it's raining. I can't carry Elsa, but I, I can handle your hat. Yeah, I'll my hat. Elsa. I'll yeah. I can try and I'll I'll try and carry her. Yeah, we can carry okay. her together. So you guys kind of like grab Elsa, I guess, and you know, like starts to pull her uh on the way. Uh yeah. carry her. Hey, did you see she has no guns? Oh boy, she's gonna be pissed. Oh, where is her <laughs> shit? <laughs> God damn it, woman, you're back in my fucking way. Now I'm carrying somebody. Get the hell out of this. It's, the, it's raining. It's the middle of the night. I um, swear to God. We had a good dinner. Do, do we dinner. notice the like trail of blood? Uh, or is it already starting to get washed away? Uh, do me a perception plus 20. plus 20. All of us? Sure. If you are actively looking for the blood, yeah. I am I'm looking curious. for I'm looking for our guns actually, but yeah, I was just looking, you know, taking notice of the scene and everything. Mar oh no, that's not me. I got yeah, that's a failure. I got a marginal uh, success. You you do notice a trail of blood, but uh, it's kind of like uh, Salundra uh, Salundro. Yes, you do notice a, a trail of blood, but it's kind of like getting together with the water. So now it's like it's diluting by the by by the time it's it's diluting really fast. The trail of blood. Any of you is a good tracker? <laughs> nah, no, that's not something I do. Yeah, I think uh, that will be Elsa's job uh, to track people and stuff. We can we can check in the morning. I think we we need to take her and and get some uh, healing or whatever we can do. Do all those ones. I, look, I'll just get her back to the the watch house. You guys go on and look. Uh, we should stay together. It's dangerous yeah, out yeah. here at night. I agree. That's not split. Fine, it's fine. Okay, but then, it, like, you guys, once I get her back, you guys can go explore that, that blood trail and see yeah, where tomorrow. it leads to. That, that's not going to be there in the morning. Look at the rain. <laughs> <laughs> She'll tell us. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you, guys right, just back. Back. you guys get back to the... Um, um, tower? The tower. And... Um, Rudy kind of like looks at uh, Elsa and is like, what, what's this? Well, I guess she got a bidding or something. Someone didn't like her. One second. There we go. 
it's not like she made any friends on uh ever our little <laughs> walk around uh town today is that this is unacceptable and then I, 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 why she was all out by herself she says he says it seems so so do you know any doctor is that me doctor no um no not really i mean uh, uh, at the physician skilled uh, perhaps you can try there but uh, uh at, at this time of the hour i i really don't know do you know a good dentist wait never mind where <laughs> where's the physician's guild what what part uh, of the I'll throw, I'll throw uh, elsa into a bed uh, he tells you, uh, Sergeant Rudy tells you that the, the physician skill is by uh, the artisan quarters. So far away. We can do that in the morning also. Mm -hmm. so does okay. she look like she's uh, bleeding and dying from her from her wounds, or is it just superficial? Um, she's definitely bleeding. <laughs> she is bleeding. Okay. Let's uh, cut those uh, sheets and uh, patch her. Rudy, I have a feeling it's probably not going to look super great to uh, the command if on our first day, one of us, uh, you know, ends up dying. And that's probably not going to reflect on you particularly well as a sergeant. Um, he, lo he looks a little bit worried on... Uh, and he's like, ah, oh, damn, I'm, I'm, I, 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 I will go and, uh, and see what I can do. And, uh, 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 and uh, remember, watch tomorrow. You guys don't, uh, what's the name? Um, you guys cannot, like, uh, stop your duties because this is happening, you know, kind of, mm -hmm. kind of thing like that. He kind of, like, tells you. Yeah. Okay. You get us a doctor and we'll do our watch tomorrow. Don't worry. I, 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 I will say what I can do. And um, he kind of like uh, leave uh, the place. What are you guys uh, doing with Elsa? Elsa, by the way, why, what are you dreaming now? <laughs> I don't know. It's probably just burning a white, a, white, a white tunnel, I guess. I guess it's a white tunnel. And at the end yeah, is the hammer. The and, at the end, <laughs> and at the end is That's the hammer sigma. White goes to Sigma. <laughs> I guess I guess the hammer of Sigma is in touch in, in reach. Mm -hmm. And 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 then, and then Sigma is speaking to her, going, "Go back, my child. Your work is not done. There are many, <laughs> there are many heretics to burn. You've got more heretics to burn. Burn the witches. <laughs> also, get your guns back." <laughs> also, yeah. Side note: Get those guns back, please. Thanks. I, I spent because a lot of money on that, them. Yeah, that did spend a lot of money on them. Thanks, it's going to be Zach. I think. Uh, as you guys are uh, talking and that, uh, what do you guys? Uh, you actively help Elsa to uh, patch her wounds? Well, yeah, yeah. Really we're we're cutting, wounds, can we're I? cutting, cutting the sheets from the from one of the beds and trying to I patch her. Now you can use bandage with um oh, errata. Because first you you needed a heal, but now you can do it with something else. But I do have I actually have points in heal. Okay, yes. Wow. So I wanna try and yes. do a heal Definitely. check and look after her and try and Definitely. we got a healer. Hey, you pick things up. Uh, oh, yeah, slow. Um, Level one. Oops, that's the wrong one. Uh, any modifier? Uh, one second, one second. Let me look at the rules here. Oh, heal is part of the troll slayer. That's a... Yeah. 23. I have to patch myself up enough. You learn things. By the way, has any has there been any updates on the pre-generated characters yet? Nope. For fuck's sake. I got a message and she was saying, because I wrote again. Wait, Why can't they just fucking release it so that people can start doing stuff with the characters? Uh, I don't know. It's just. Do you, do you feel like it. Actually, I'm going to shut up. 
I'll, I'll say this in chat. I've just heard Derek. back from the producers. Currently, those characters are being finished and are about to go through the approval process. I'll be another little while. It'll be another little while. But I'll be back in touch as soon as we have them ready. And that was Monday. Uh, I will. I will just leave it in zero. Let's let's do a zero here. Okay. No modifiers. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna reroll that. I'm gonna use my fortune. Okay, yeah, it's, good. We're gonna sleep. That's through. really bad, and I don't want to potentially cause even worse. Like, make it worse. Did you just say, I guys, you've got to sleep? What? What? Oh. I, thought, I thought Bohemians just said, guys, we've got to sleep. All right. No, oh. I, 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 this is beyond my skills with this, like, marginal failure that I have. Uh, marginal failure. You do manage to, like, um, patch her up a little bit. Uh, you stop the bleeding, but uh, you cannot stop the worse uh, injuries. injuries. Uh, James, I do want to roll one in uh choose a place and i will throw one critical wound that you will have so your arms your head your legs or your body my arms then arms okay my left uh, my right arm Oof. okay so you have a turn muscle so i guess your Mm, your arm is like dislocated or something like that. Um, uh, but again, you do you don't manage to get her arm back in place. If if yeah, this is beyond my skills. What's going on with the rest, Bailey? What are you doing? I mean, when Rudy leaves, I'm probably gonna go over to his stash of booze and fill up my flask from that <laughs> and well, then i'm gonna and then i'm gonna pretend like i'm helping berrigand maybe i'll bring him like bailey bailey bring bandages. some of that uh oh yeah good idea oh, Wait, you didn't, yes. why, you, why are you watching me you're not supposed to be watching me yeah <laughs> i got eyes yeah I'll, I'll i'll sneak fill up my flask but then i'll fill something else up and bring it over for disinfecting which we don't i don't know that that exists <laughs> Ferdinand, what are you doing? I'm laying in bed. I was like, I'm grumpy, I'm tired, Elsa's beat up, we got her back, I'm tired from carrying her. There's a woman out there that just not get out of my way twice. I want to shock her, but I'm not going to go to sleep because we have watch in the morning. Okay. <laughs> what uh, woman are you talking about? <laughs> his, his little joke that he was doing yeah get, getting in his like when we were pushing through the uh, the, the, the crowd of people oh <laughs> some random lady okay um, the night passed by um, as I say you guys managed um, as, uh, Baragun you managed to stop the worst uh, uh, of Elsa but she's still in a bad shape uh, pretty much uh, bad reading <clears throat> at this moment. Um, and um, yeah, early morning. <clears throat> Do we get, because I, I had lost some, uh, I was injured also. Can I get uh, Baragun to treat me or should I sleep? No, that I don't think you or? want, I, I personally wouldn't get Baragun to treat you. Uh, yeah, yeah well, you heal you heal yourself uh how much do right? i heal uh I'm you're, a what am I you're, on? you're at zero right now and this is because it's more like a narrative thing than right. um than rule rule wise but oh, I'm what you're oh. doing in my bed oh, right. <laughs> oh. oh dear what you doing in my bed Baragun? Uh, he does this sometimes when he's had too much to drink he <laughs> Don't you want? Don't you want me to bandage you? <laughs> don't you want me to bandage you? You can stay on my bed to do that. You can stay on the side of my bed to do that. Just say, 
Potato, I thought you were just about to start saying, don't you want me, baby? Don't you want me, baby? Don't you want me? Uh... Who said it was your bed anyway? That's much better. That's much better. I mean, they're beds. I don't really see the difference. Yeah, anyway, do you want me to bandage you? I don't know what you want. Yes, please. It's not a big deal. It's just a bottle that hit me. But okay, right. uh, early morning. Oh, oh. no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, I can heal. You were hit by just a bottle. This I understand. I'm <laughs> well within my skills. Why do you think I have all these heal skills? <laughs> uh, so I guess I heal wounds equal to intelligence bonus plus SL. Yes, SL. So, so that's. Two Three. SL and my intelligence. Yeah, two. It says also okay, without. It says here without medical contention, you can attempt an average plus twenty endurance test after good night's sleep once a day, and you heal wounds equal to your success level plus your token toughness bonus for each day okay. you spend taking it easy. So Salundro, uh, do that for me. Um, I'm here. You do get an, an extra two plus two, right? Plus four. Yeah, two four plus points. two, so four total. Four points. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. Uh. Early morning, you kind of hear like the banging on the door, like pam 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 pam. Who's there? I wake up. I need to get. I need to get a fresh uh, set of a, a new suit because this one burned uh, actually last night. I mean, the, the day before. Okay. Do they have uh, a wardrobe or something where I can get a new sure. watch? Uh, sure. Better uh, than just waking up slightly hungover and by the probably way. sleeping in the bed the wrong way. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Bailey, I want you to describe the room that you guys are. Not just what the what is in the in the battle map, but you know, describe the room for me. Okay, we're on the second level of this tower. Is that right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Maybe this was um, formerly a cell of some kind. Maybe the windows, instead of being um, regular windows, are like bars. I don't know. So Valig feels right at home here. <laughs> and he's sleeping soundly because the best night's sleep he's ever had were always behind bars. So, what about Thanks. the smell? What about the um... smell? Uh, so Rudy probably has very bad hygiene habits, so it probably smells pretty bad. Maybe there's a like an unemptied chamber pot over in the corner that no one remembers. <laughs> Everyone's just kind of used to the smell at this point. There's probably like some uneaten food on the little table there. Rudy's probably got some cards laid out, like he's playing cards with his imaginary friend or something. Early morning, the door knocks. It's gonna be the kid that you asked to come mm -hmm. at eight o'clock in the morning, if you remember. Yeah, I don't think it's the doctor. It looks not moving. Wait, is Rudy in the room? No. He never he never came back. He never came back. He He's abandoned. Dead, Jim now we have to rescue up. Rudy. Wait. <laughs> so wait, 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 there's no breakfast ready for us? <laughs> no breakfast ready for you guys. Oh no! Is that two days in a row? Yes. We didn't have breakfast, proper breakfast the day before, and now we don't have breakfast again. Lindra's one weakness. No breakfast. breakfast. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going down and check on the door. Uh, once you open the door, you see this uh, smiling little kid, and uh, he's hello. Hey, little friend. What hello. was your name? Ah, uh, my name is uh, Lucas. Lucas, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Oh. I'm good. Excellent. Do you know where we can get breakfast? Proper breakfast? Um, uh, I would recommend the red the red moon inn. I think is uh very good. Is it on the way to your to your place? Uh, yeah. He says. Perfect. So why don't you get in 
sit and let us uh, get finished. Uh, you know, we're getting ready to go, and then we'll join you and have breakfast, and then we'll go to your um, neighborhood. Duncan felt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, come in. Come in. Yeah. He kind of goes in and uh, sit down in one of the chairs. Excellent. Uh, by the looks of the little kid, he you can see that he the clothes is like raggy and you know bad. It's uh, definitely poor. Yeah. This is the kid from last night. Yeah. Talk to us. Yeah. Okay. So tell me about your dad. Well, I'm washing whatever way. Is there is there like fresh water so I can wash? Uh, sure. Yeah, so I'm, uh, you know, uh, I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> he kind of tells you that um, uh, his name... Uh, no, no. He gives his name as Eugen Fetcher. So his father... Who's his father? Okay, sorry. His name is Eugen and uh, <coughs> his father's name is Reichert. What? Uh, Vogel. That's the that, Eugene is a kid? Yeah. Oh. Eugene. And, and, and his father is? This is the last name. Uh, there we go. I put it in chat. There we go. Is that What's the kid's name? first name? I couldn't really. Eugene. Uh, right. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. I can. Uh, uh, sorry. Eugene. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Oh, Eugene. Yeah. Yeah. Eugene and. Rakert. Is that a Petsch, the Petsch Vogel? Is that a Kislevit name? Uh, nope. I, I'm thinking it's, um, it sounds Reich, Reich name. Petsch Vogel. Vogel. <laughs> no, man, that's not from the Reich land. Oh, um, he turns around, he's like, well, my, my father, you know, he... He's a really nice person, and uh, he's uh, very good, and uh, he helped me and my mom, and uh, he, he will never leave us, and he's gone now for a few days, he says. And he's a good dad. Yeah, 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 I promise you. And what does he do for a living? Um, he generally uh, uh, do some cleaning on the dogs. He's a doctor. No, 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 he's not a doctor. He he cleans stuff. He's a cleaner. Yes. Okay. Cool. Well, did we kind of have a... Bad uh, luck no, bird. Patch no, Vogel. <laughs> we kind of have some more pressing issues. Cylindro. We do? I kind of like nod my head over towards Elsa. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, where is the doctor? Where? Oh, you mean Rudy? before breakfast? Oh, before breakfast, yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah, Bailey, I guess we'll roll out of bed at this point and go <laughs> over and see if Elsa is still, like, he'll just look at her closely and see if she's still breathing. Uh, she's breathing. Um, her arm's still mangled and broken. And um... yeah, all right, well, that's all he time. wanted to know. So he'll he'll go look, see what Cylindro's doing, talking to this kid. Now, where's breakfast, Cylindro? Well, uh, here, my friend uh, Eugene knows a good place for us to have breakfast. But the thing is, we can't carry Elsa like that. And the doctor and Rudy never came back with a doctor. Hey, Eugene, do you know of uh, any physician or doctor or something in here, near in this neighborhood? Uh, he he looks at you and he's like, oh, "Well, uh, there is a um, oh, oh Nicholas, um, but but he's more like a animal doctor." Perfect. That's exactly what we need for Elsa. <laughs> What? <laughs> Her and Andrew Tears said, that, that's not what we need. 
<laughs> well, you have a better option? Let Barak An actual do doctor. I mean, he might not be terrible for all intents and purposes. Bones is bones, right? And uh, uh, I mean, if to, it's a bone, it, I mean, maybe. You have to move oh. move the shoulder, whatever, and if he knows how to handle, you know, a horse, whatever. Kids probably. But I, I will not trust him so much. He, he always smells funny and talks like, and, you know, I think I think he drinks a lot, he says. Oh. oh well, see, maybe. there you go. That's he why he doesn't. Trust. Yeah. I don't. Well, Bergen drinks a lot, and I trust him. <laughs> Uh, and any other doctor, like proper doctor? No? Not that I know. Any physician apprentice? You don't know. Like nods. Yeah. Bargon, what's your professional opinion? Will she survive if we leave her here? I mean, she's going to need someone it. to feed her at some point. She will still need food. She kind of can't get up in a boat, but she's going to be fine beyond that. At least she's not getting any worse. So sh sh we shouldn't move her, though. I don't think we should move her until someone comes to <clears throat> see her. No. So sh <clears throat> maybe we should go track down Rudy or a doctor and bring him back here and see what they can do to help her. Is that the plan? Yeah, and uh, bring her breakfast because there's no yeah, breakfast. Have you seen, have you seen Rudy this morning at all? No. no. I think he never came back. Nope, the kid. Oh. oh. Rudy who? <laughs> yeah, Rudy who, exactly. No, he's Rudy. not here. <laughs> right, you, you're under the bridge. Rudy probably doesn't go down there very often. Okay, so let's go grab breakfast, find a doctor, bring food back to Elsa, and a, and the doctor. Okay. Something How about like we should we should probably split and somebody go get breakfast. Uh, I can skip breakfast. I want to get the first patrol done in the morning. It should be quiet at least, so I can. The first the first patrol we know is going to take us to under the bridge. True. Oh, fine. I'll go find <laughs> the doctor. I think we need to leave. I mean, he said, Rudy said it was in the other neighborhood, no? Artisan quarters. Yeah. D does he have a map on any of the walls or on the table or somewhere? Does he have a desk? Um, yes. Well, as the person who described. But I would say he don't have a map. Oh, he has a desk with no map. <laughs> <laughs> you should have described the map on the wall, uh, Brian. <laughs> okay. Time. Well, I don't, I don't think he can read and write anyway, so you know, a map would not make any sense. <laughs> so, I don't know where the artisan quarters here is, actually. Uh, Eugene, do you know where the artisan uh, quarter is? Yeah, yeah, I know. Says, and the guild, uh, the doctor's guild? Um, I don't guild? know about that, but uh, he kind of like shrugs. Well, we can okay. ask around. Yeah, take us to breakfast, and uh, we'll ask around uh, from there. And then, don't worry, we didn't forget your dad. We'll investigate that. But we have a friend that is well, very injured, sorry. and uh, she the, needs uh, medical Mark attention. Platz. Sorry, the Mark Platz. What? Uh, the physician skills in the Mark marked marked Platz. Oh, I know that, Platz. Yeah, we were there. No. Yeah, you guys were in the town hall. Uh, so we have to take the bridge? Yeah. Um. Whoa. That's a bike. Yep, someone's about to kill themselves, probably. <laughs> uh, soon enough. Are we going to be particularly well-received in the marketplace? Yeah, we're watchmen. We're guards. Of course we are. Okay, Baragun, do you want to do another one of your, I mean, cleaning, you know, changing all the Yeah, I'll, I'll look whatever. over her wounds and stuff. Yeah. Um, so can I make another heal check then? Sure. Change bandages, all those kind of things. 
<laughs> oh, you're good at it. <laughs> that would be a, an impressive failure with minus six success levels. That's not good. Minus good. Minus you're, constant. you're constant. I mean, it was minus six already last night. Okay. Uh, He's giving her the same treatment. Uh, I as, you, <laughs> as you try to bandage her, you kind of like Fuck when you tackle my arm, you kind of hear that you know as a bone kind of like broke. Was that was that the bed? Um, <laughs> I look. I'm not a doctor, you know. Jesus, man, you don't have to use all your strength to try and put the bandage on. I think you smashed her arm. Oh my fucking god. There's a crack from the other room. Look, I was Jesus. Her oh, arm was just located. I was just trying to fix it. The shoulder just wouldn't move, so I pushed and you I have pushed. one setting. It's kill always. Look. Don't ask me to heal to some to heal tend to someone's wounds if you don't want unexpected additional wounds. No, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You did a good job. Is that clean clothing now? Clean bandage? I mean, she's rebandaged she the best I can. Did we clean her face? Maybe we should put some... Uh... I'm getting so again. <laughs> <laughs> can you just... Can you not go get a doctor or something? <laughs> we are! We are on our way! You're not, you're not! You're getting some person to try and fucking kill me. <laughs> no, he, he's an expert. He's an expert. He's not an expert. Not thirty-eight percent. No, but I'm an expert. He's a, he's a dwarf. I'm down lots of stairs. I mean, I could try. I'm, I have a little yeah, bit I of mean, a gentle touch. It may touch. be really funny for you lot, but I'm not going to be doing anything the entire session, so I could just go and not be here. <laughs> no, no, you, you I'm going to salty. Let's get a doctor, people. <laughs> Yeah, and we should probably go get a doctor. Or at least <laughs> yeah. figure out where the hell Rudy went. I think he got lost or something. Oh no, you're you're the one that's more uh amicable to talk to, I think, of the lot of us. Well, not really, but yeah, sure. Okay, so everybody leave? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um it goes about five minutes after you guys left. Um, Elsa, um, you wake up <laughs> feeling a horrible pain in your arm. <laughs> it's the bed. You shouldn't sleep on your arm. <laughs> What's Solyndra said? What's going on, Elsa? Well, she's just going to stay in bed because she's fucking injured and now she's got a broken arm. Yeah. It's not um, it's not you you hear again this uh, weird voice is like you know I can end all this no. just say the word fuck off <laughs> <laughs> uh, you also hear the stairs uh you know you you hear the stairs uh somebody coming up from the stairs yep and um through the room, uh, so your the door. <laughs> kind of like uh, picks in, and uh, he's like, uh, 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 "Are you awake?" And he looks at you. Uh, yes, yes, I'm awake. Just, I feel like I'm sure I didn't have a broken arm last night. <laughs> yeah, you fell. You fell. It was. Yeah, we don't. We're we're not sure what happened there. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> so and Rudy is like, well, I'm, 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 I I think I have some uh, good news for you. And, well, relative good news for you. And, uh, one second. And uh, he kind of like goes in and like have like a bag and he pulls out one of your guns. One of your guns. <laughs> and put it on the on the desk on the side and he's like I'm, 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 I've taken care of business I, 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 I only could recover one of your guns the other was gone uh, by the time I asked around and, and um, uh, 
uh, you don't have to worry for those talkers uh, jumping you anymore. They they are eating with the fishes, if you know what I mean. And he looks at you. Also. Uh, I'm going to look at him and go, where's the other gun? Is that, um, I, I, I really don't know. I'm, um, uh, <clears throat> I managed to squeeze this, you know, I, I, I do take care of, of my people. Uh, even if you're a little bit of a pain in the ass, <clears throat> if I must say, um, and, uh, I will look at the one gun and go So where is the other gun then? Mm, yours. I, just, I just told you, I, I really don't know Probably sold off Who had it? Uh, well, some uh, some dockers had it well, But I... that's been taken care of, I promise, I, I promise that will not bother you anymore he says i'm not i'm not bothered about i'm not bothered about them not bothering me anymore i'm bothered about where's my family guns gone you know they used to belong to my mother but don't you and i will turn once i'm better i will turn over every rock until i find those guns or gun. the second the, the other gun yeah another th thing i'm searching for is that well, you know, I, I, you guys come here with your, with your mighty horses and, and no, think you can come. No, 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 not mighty horses, just doing things correctly. Do you know well, how, <coughs> um, Mr. Sergeant Rudy, do you understand how corruption starts? Yes. Well, let me tell you what, I'm 50 years old and it, I'm, I'm not corrupted, I can tell you. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just being a, uh, I'm just trying to keep myself alive. And every time I come to, to the, to every day in the morning, what I try to say to myself is like, let me wake up, let me get back to my bed in the night right. and I, survive the day. I, okay, That's I agree, Sergeant Rody, but there was six of them. And there was one of me, and I took care of three of them. Well, good for you, but, you know, uh, uh, I should not be telling you this, but things are complicated, right? I understand they're complicated in the real world, but also we are here to protect people. And that's what I did yesterday, protect people. Ha! Protect people. Sigma only protect the strong, he says. No, that is not correct. Sigma protects those that are worthy of protection. It's like, uh, uh, I've, uh, and he kind of like uh, uh, sit down on the bed uh, by your side. And he's like, you know what? I, when I was young, I used to be like you, you know? I wanted to, to come in the big what, city you burn, and you burn save witches. the world. I'll give you, yeah, uh, so you burn witches, do you? Is that what? So how you want, is that what you do? No, you no, 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 I wanna, I wanna right. do it good for myself. But, but the longer I was here, I just noticed that, you know, everything is, there is powers beyond me, you know, and... You feel like a meat grinder, yeah? You push the meat <laughs> in one end, you push the, you push the bodies in one end, and meat comes out the other, yeah? Uh, he's like, but I, I don't understand what you're trying to say, lad. Lady. Yeah, lady, lady. As in, it's all a grind. It grinds you down. Well, I guess, I guess, I mean, it's, it's complicated. And, and since the young friends live, you know, things are even more complicated. You, you really don't understand, you know, what I had to do to get back your gun, you know. You should be thanking me. I am thanking you for bringing me one gun. But... You know if it's yours or not. <laughs> I, I'm going to be like, I, I'm going to be like, but 
<laughs> you know, I will turn every stone over until I find out where the other gun has got to. I, I mean, it's your funeral, lady. Uh, no. That's all right. I feel pretty close to death now. <laughs> I'm pretty much satisfied that, you know, I have done most things. But I will not rest until I find my second gun. Well, uh, you should definitely do that. And he kind of like, you know, like takes the, uh, what's the name? The sheets, the sheets and put it, you know, like tuck, tuck you in, you know, like really tuck you in. Uh, he's like, well, I... I think the best now is for you to rest a little bit and, uh, and uh, <laughs> don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. And he kind of like pat you in the head. Yep. My hand was on, my, my hand has been held, is literally, well, in my left hand, I guess, because my hand is, if I could still got a fucking knife, it would have been on the knife all that time on the hill. Okay. Oh, you don't have your knife either? I don't know. I don't know what I've got. I don't know what I've got left or what okay. I've uh, what what they took I don't have. I, I remember they took the sword and the guns. I don't know if you if they yeah. took the knife. Uh yeah. you definitely have your knife. Okay. But wait a See, minute. They kind of like take your clothes yesterday, I think. Well they didn't take my clothes, would they? How would they that would be a fucking pain in the ass, wouldn't it? Yeah, all bloody and all cut. They'd take they'd probably take the belt, which is why I'm not sure if I'd have the knife. Okay. The your belt. knife is by the side, I guess. Yeah, they probably will take the belt and you know your knife. You wouldn't because it'd be too. I, it'd be to take the armor. Your it'd be, boots. It'd your be boots. too. It'd be too hard to take the armor. Maybe they've taken my boots. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, pretty, but they, pretty, they, they pretty, probably pretty took my. Boots. They took my purse, so I definitely got no money. And they've and they've taken my belt, so yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna be like, well, Sergeant Rudy. I mean. I mean, the thing is, though, one of your officer, officers has been attacked. And he's like, yes, and the problem is well taken care of. I promise. It's, it's, it's not, though. There's not two guns there. It's like, that's not the problem. It is I a mean, problem. For me, it is. Well, I, I cannot help you anymore, he says. Okay. I still suspect he has something to do with it. Is that? <clears throat> um, um, I, I guess the rest are out on patrol, right? Um, uh, um, I don't know. I, I woke up I, here. I, last thing I, I remember was calling down an alleyway. Oh, oh. Um, well, you are excused for duty today. Maybe tomorrow, <laughs> by the looks of it. Um, I might need a doctor. A uh, uh, doctor, yes. Uh, well, I do know this guy called Nicholas. He could probably help us. <laughs> he says. Uh, and you guys, the rest of you are in the street uh, walking. Um, the little kid... Uh, He's very eager. He's like, please, please, please come, come to my house and, and you can ask my mom, you know, she, she can, she can tell you my, my father is a good man. I promise you, please help me. You know, we, we got that clear. We're first having breakfast, then the doctor. And after the doctor, we have, to, we, we bring the doctor, doctors back to the Rudy's tower and then we can help you with your dad. Okay. So, but but you kid, promise, kid, right? You promise kid, that you're going to have happen. to learn patience. Patience is key, little one. <laughs> or you uh, get a shock. Belly, do me a perception roll plus 40. Uh, I got to find my icon. Yours is out front. Two success levels. Um, just a couple of meters, not not like really that far away. Um, coming out from like a tavern or establishment, uh, you see this uh, fat guy jumping in in a 
a couch, a co- no, coach. Coach. <laughs> That's a Comes into a couch. Whoa. Uh, coach, <laughs> right? Yeah, coach. Yeah, yeah. Coach. Yeah. coach. Okay. Uh, coach. <laughs> the couch is a sofa. Not in the yeah. couch. <laughs> <laughs> He uh, jumps out of the couch and it rides away with uh, the horses. Jumping in the coach. And you immediately recognize his face uh, as one of the nobles that uh, you robbed for a couple of months ago. <laughs> uh, and that... The ones that potentially took Bellania? Yes. <laughs> okay. I, I think when I see this, like the color sort of drains out of his face or Balik's face and he he goes over to Salundra and he's like that's that's them that's the nobles that took my friend we gotta follow them how, how, how far are they from from us uh that they're, they're uh, a little bit far and uh, there is people uh, it will take you a while to get where he is I, I mean you see him in the distance jumping in in the in the coach oh. well Let's try to follow him quickly. But I, where are we going? I'll, I'll give three brass coins to the to Eugene and say, "Can you can you run and follow that that uh, coach over there?" Uh, he's, like, but but are you not gonna help my father, please? We, rem- remember, we have to have breakfast and then the doctor, and then we can help your father. And why you want me to follow the coach? And you, you see the, the coach starts to leave. I'm just going to take coins. off running after it. <laughs> Three coins, I'm sure. I bet you you can, you can run faster than uh, my dwarf friend here. It's like, okay, but you promise you help me later, right? We'll be, we'll be there during the day, today. Uh, he kind of like grab the money and just starts to run away. Uh, Belly, do me a, um, uh, what, athletics, athletics, athletics. roll. Yeah. Okay. No modifier. Uh, no modifiers. Um, I think I'm going to use, uh, fortune. Okay. That's oh. worse. <laughs> Um, uh, a, a, a dark voice in, in your head kind of says that um, 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 you should run this way. You should you should go this way. And if if you if you uh, choose to take one corruption point, you may uh, re-roll. Do another roll. Have I ever heard a voice like this before? Uh, nope. I guess not. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I, I think he's going to do it because this is important to him. So so I get to roll again? Is that what yeah. happens? For one corruption point. Okay. <laughs> it's only one. What are we going to do? The dark forces have shown me <laughs> it'll work. <laughs> it works. <laughs> yeah, three success levels. Uh, this, is, this is why the dark forces are so successful is because <laughs> the dark forces work. <laughs> Dark forces work. Just uh, say you get shit also done. run. You know, uh, you get into you know, like try to to get into the people. You see the the coach going. Uh, what it seems down to the bridge. Uh, you get a, a better look at the the coach, and uh, you do see. Uh, Let's see. You see the colors of red, blue, and uh, red, blue, and white, and uh, you see what it seems like. Um, let's see. Uh, Are those like the altar colors? Do I know? Um. Yeah, but they they're in a different pattern. Or oh, let's oh, okay. change color. Let's let's put purple, yellow, purple, yellow. Yeah. Probably. Okay. This isn't the same that I had heard about. Nope. It's, okay. It's not you do manage to see a shield uh, with what it seems like two two swords, kind of like in cross. Uh, you see the coat, the coach, and you see a couple of what it seems like guards or 
you know uh but bodyguards yeah yeah bodyguards uh around the coach what do you do uh it's still a couple of meters ahead of you i guess i'm just gonna try to hide and walk and watch and see what they do um, is the coach still moving yeah oh well i'm just gonna try to shadow it i guess okay uh yeah But uh what, more what importantly I i'm gonna try not to fall behind so i'm just gonna see where they're going okay uh what about the rest of you uh bailey come uh baragun and ferdinand what's going on you I, just I, see I, running away i <laughs> probably turned to ferdinand i'm like what's up with him <laughs> I don't know. He's always skittish. We, you, I feel like I should follow him. We can you follow guys him. handle getting us breakfast and, uh, and uh, we'll meet back at the watchtower once I can pry him away from whatever's going on. Yeah, can I can do that. So I, I, I mean, take off it's after two, it's two. It's two dwarfs running. <laughs> I mean, can you run? Yes. <laughs> I mean, he's going to be able to catch him. He's a dwarf. It's like, dwarf. Well, that's, now, if it was like me, if it was Ferdinand or Salundro, we'd like easily outpace them. They're dwarves. It's just we have longer <laughs> legs. I, long I, I, I don't need to catch up to him quickly. I just want to make sure that he, you know, I want to at least like keep my eyes it's on like, him. It's like Toad from Super Mario Brothers 2 running. <laughs> All I can picture. Uh, yeah. Um, Salundro uh, and Ferdinand, you're just by yourself in there. Yeah, we're, we're walking to the towards the place uh, where he told us uh, we can have some food. Uh, What was the name? Uh, the Red Moon Inn. The Red, Red Moon, Moon Inn. Is that where we ate last time? No, no broken. Was, um, the rotten. What was it? Broken no. hammer. Yeah, I wouldn't eat anywhere. Crooked, crooked hammer. Crooked hammer. Yeah, crooked hammer. Red, red yeah. moon. Egg. Okay. Uh, one second. It is the the, the, the dogs. Uh, the red moon in the red uh, moon in the two-story red moon in primarily cutters. Okay. No, that's a lot of information you guys don't need. Blah blah blah. Yeah, we just need a location. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, that would be uh, 29. So it's uh, by the other side of the river, I think. Oh, no. Wrong. Uh, yes, it's on the other side of town, pretty much. It's like someone. <laughs> oh, jeez. Really? What's wrong with this kid? Let's go back to the crooked, uh, crooked hammer. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go to that one. Yeah. Food, food is food, place. right? And and it's half price. Yes. For us. Yes. Uh, this is what it is on menus. For breakfast. Okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> We need. Eggs, scrambled eggs, bread. Spam. Spam, sausage, and spam. Going yeah, sausage, sausages, maybe potatoes. One second. One second. I, I, would, I would like uh, country potatoes with blood sausage, please. There you go. For um, five of us. So it will be uh, uh, around... Four brass coins per per breakfast. Okay, so we take five <laughs> five of those. Yes, so four that will be four twenty. Yeah, but they don't work because it's twelve. It's twelve, twelve per silver shilling. So four, twelve. Oh, yeah. So, but he's he's making us pay per, uh, half the price. Yeah. Um, around two shillings, a little, little less than two shillings, but just to Damn. time it with the thing, two shillings. Two shillings. Uh, okay. So twenty-four. I got it. I'll just. I can. I can pay for one if you want, and then you pay for one. 
Uh, and, we get, and we get extra food for the kid also, and bread and whatever. Yeah. yeah. Oh so, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go to two shillings. The full two shillings. Yeah. And get extra food. Uh, did they? Sorry to interrupt. Did they change the experience cost at some point, or or did I imagine that? You imagine that. Okay. Uh, what do you mean? I'm gonna work out what what was spent on my character while I'm not okay. doing anything. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> because the um, yeah. I'll come back and I'll explain my logic. It's bothering you, and you want to figure it out. We understand. <laughs> okay. Uh, James, back at you. Sorry. Back in the tower. Right. One second. Rudy is gone. What are you doing? You're hearing this voice. It's kind of like telling you to give up. It's telling you to surrender. It's telling you. I'm to literally. I'm going to just. I'm. That. I'm literally going to sit there and pray to Sigma. Okay. Um, and drown out the uh try and drown that voice out. Okay. La, 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 la. Um after a while, uh under the day, you kind of hear uh the door knocking downstairs. Oh <laughs> I'm not getting I'm 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 injured. I'm not getting I can't get out of bed. Here just gonna leave it. I don't care. Why would I care? <laughs> okay. Then the door starts screaming for help. Still don't care. <laughs> the house is on fire. Still don't care. <laughs> knocking and knocking, and then after a while, you hear somebody screaming from downstairs. Hello. Somebody there? Nope. Rudy! You owe me money! <laughs> what a surprise. Hello? Just, I'm just gonna... I'm injured. I'm not... I'm, I'm on negative or whatever, zero wounds. I'm not, I'm bedridden. I'm not getting out. Negative zero? I don't know. I'm on zero wounds. Wounds. Zero wounds at this moment. So, I mean, I'm just sitting here. I'm literally just sitting here. There's nothing I can do. Okay. One second. So, you're just looking at, at the roof and being on pain or... Yeah, because I'm waiting for a doctor. Uh, what? Or someone, someone to actually fucking fix my broken arm and everything else. Uh, tell me about uh, a time when you were in like a similar position or. Um, so a whole town, whatever, a, a village who seemed to be, they all seem to be worshipping uh, a chaos god of some sort. And they 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 uh, no no um someone came after me. a family member came after me of uh, someone who a, a confirmed witch who I who, who I'd burnt uh, had basically hired some bugs to basically take take me out and um, they 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 uh, they they basically ju basically ju blindsided me and yeah I, and I was severely injured. Um, and it was only through the use of the pistols did I get, you know, a alert attention to like me being attacked, and the uh, yeah, and, and then I spent about a month being, you know, in in, in being uh, in in bed rest, and then eventually, you know, after being injured, I tracked down the people that attacked me. 
Okay. They found out who did it, who hired them, and then tracked the person back to their to to their house, and then got my revenge. Okay. Um, do me another toughness test, please. Is this am I plus? Is this an average toughness test? Uh, at zero, I would say. Yeah, because you're broken arm. Uh, so endurance test. Marginal success. Um, you you feel this, you know, like intense pain, you know, from your broken arm, you know, like screaming at your body, you know, and this voice is still, you know, the 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 more the pain, the more loud the voice become. Okay. Who is who? Who's the voice? Have I heard the voice before? Uh nope, never. Uh, okay, who are you? Uh, I'm your friend. Who are you? I'm your friend. I'm your companion, Elsa. And what's your name? Uh you kind of hear like a laugh. As uh, you asked that question. Okay. Well, that that would be too easy. Wouldn't oh. be. I'm going to look over at my pistol. Your what? I'm going to look at my pistol. Okay. How do your pistol look at? I guess it looks like a, uh, it's an old pistol. Okay. No, no extra details? Nothing like uh, that? It's probably got... It's probably got... Because uh, it's brass... I guess it's brass and it's like... Uh, there's like plating around the like like an uh, intricate design of, of brass around the um around the sort of framing the wooden structure of the uh of the of the um gun itself the pistol okay uh, uh yeah so it, it's it's a, it looks pretty and it's well crafted i guess oh fuck i don't find it what you're looking for but yeah i mean no, try yeah okay well i i'm i'm, I'm like maybe maybe you could fuck off yeah <laughs> <laughs> what you're looking for danny uh no it, it's my my own thing here some oh. notes um <clears throat> let's see before we go in the break uh salundro can you talk Tell me about your big brother, you know, the first one in the family. The hair. Exactly. Well, he is a, he is a piece of, uh, yeah, he is, um, he is very noble, let's say. He is, um, his name is Rogelio. Okay. So my mother has, has uh, Italian origins, so... Uh, that's why we are, we all have uh, you know Spanish sounding names, uh, but uh, she is really uh, from from the Reckland. So my elder eldest eldest brother, he's just a uh, two or three years older. He's twenty five, like 23, 22, 23. He's two two years older than I, and uh, he you know he acts like a noble and he likes to party and like to to hunt and he's. We're very different, very, very different. He likes uh, his position. He likes, uh, you know, gold and riches and jewelry and all those. Uh. Okay, like uh, your typical noble. Oh, yes, he is a very typical. He loves, you know, going to Aldorf and, uh, you know, flashing new clothes. And uh, I do yeah. want... Uh, you to give me a trait that make him different from all the other nobles. What what make him stick out from the rest? So the difference is he's still loyal. I mean, even though uh, he is very uh, noblish, let's say in his actions, he is very loyal. I mean, to his friends, to family, 
to uh, even uh, the, the city of Grenberg where we we grew up. Uh, so loyalty is uh, something very important for him. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Clayter, uh, mm -hmm. your master before you leave the college, he kind of like give you a warning. Please enlighten us. <laughs> Beware of witch hunters. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> they will track you down and kill you. Yeah, they will track no, you down. No. It could be a warning or it could be a, um, what's advice. A, an advice, but like important. You know, this is something yeah. that, you know, like affect you once he told you and in which way affect you and why, please. Um... Magic has a powerful lure, but at the same time, you have to be careful because it can easily push you over to a darker side, and uh, you have to be constantly aware of it. Okay, yep, I like it, I like it, especially since you are uh, your win of magic is uh, the purple. Uh, mm -hmm. Is often close to uh, necromancy. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I like it. Um, Brian, your character didn't always dream about being a thief. Uh, he had other high dreams, high hopes. Uh, what was it? And uh, what has gone so wrong that you could not achieve that? You know? Well, um, when he was growing up in Karak Osgaraz, um, he was like the, I don't know, he had many brothers and sisters who were older, so, um, didn't get a lot of attention from his father, but his mother would take him out, um, and they would go, like, out of the dwarf hold down into the valley and pick herbs and stuff like that, and he just wanted to follow in her footsteps as an herbalist. But all the other dwarves were so mean that he ended up just running away and He's living on the streets. <laughs> but he still remembers some of his herb lore. Like he maybe wants to get back to that someday once he figures out his other problems. Okay. I like it. Fishing. Um, before, you know, now you are a, a what's the name? Um, uh, player, player, Little player, yeah. Uh, but um, you have a possession uh, since you are a kid uh, that have meant a lot for you. Um, can you tell me what's the possession and why it means so much for you? Um, it's a small emblem of my family's crest, the same one that we saw in the mines. Um, and no matter how much I try to even at this point say, fuck that dwarf shit, there's still kind of part of, of Berigund that is, that longs for that kind of thing. So he kind of keeps it secret and hidden, but it's, it was, it was given to him by his father, uh, and his grandfather gave it to his father, uh, and, and so forth. So it's been kind of passed down, um, but it's, it's, it's nothing of any value other than truly sentimental it's it's uh it's, it's, he kind of keeps it hidden and wrapped up in and but takes it with him wherever he goes i guess okay yep sure ferdinand what's oh. going on what oh we picked up the breakfast yeah and uh well now we have to find where the, the other guys went Because we lost them. <laughs> no more split party. <laughs> yeah, we said no splitting. <laughs> I was like, last night, I was like, don't go off by yourself. And the first thing today, I just run. Hell no. Yeah, but it's, it's daylight. It, <laughs> it's daytime. It's yeah. daytime. Definitely daytime. What What is this here? The big square building, like a there? fortress? 
Yeah. Uh, das. Uh, Looks like a. a cost of oh, house. The custom house. Oh, that, that, yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. Just quickly, just before we go, what is melee fist now? Is it something? Didn't it change to another skill? Uh, yeah. It's, uh, brawling. 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 Just melee brawling. Yeah. Yes. Custom house, okay. Yeah. Uh, That's not part of our territory, is it? Uh, I would say no. Yeah. Like, it's just outside your, you know. Mandate. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Bailey. Oh, 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 God, that feels better. What have what? you done? What have you done? Uh... I lost the nose guard on this side, like the nose piece, mm. and so I had to use like my old glasses one, which is a hard plastic versus like a flexible plastic, so it was constantly stabbing me in the nose. Ah, uh, yeah. So sorry, that's what I was working on. I just I just pulled them from the mailbox, and it feels so much better. Ah, fucking cool, man. Yeah, so that's why I was like, give me two seconds. That's why I'm down. Looking at stuff, so yeah, okay. So, okay. I'm, I'm here now. Yeah. So where should we take the food, Ferdinand? What do you think? Uh, let's just hold on to it for now, and let's see if we can find them. If we can't find them, let's. <laughs> like I, I don't know what. Yeah, let's go up to the bridge. Let's go up to yeah. the bridge. If we see them, it's good. Then, or else we'll have breakfast and take it to, and get a doctor somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> We'll get Elsa uh, a doctor, or we'll go see the kid's dad, or wait, are we looking for his, we're looking for his dad, right? But Can't not we... now, not now. We need the kid first, anyway. I don't want to get into the shanty house without the kid. Yeah, true, uh, without a kid. And we, hold running... him up as, we, we hold him up as, like, a, you know, protection, right? Exactly. Uh, Bailey, um, do me another uh, um, athletic role. You can do it. You got this. It's easy PC. The coach can go fast. Easy. Three success levels. Great. You keep uh, running through the bridge. Um, the coach um, is still still long away, and you are seeing it barely. You know there is uh, now as you crossing the bridge, you can see that there is more flow of people. Um, so um, you do notice um, um, as, as, as you're running, you know, um, that uh, there is another couch uh, coming behind. Same colors, purple and, and yellow. Okay. And, and also surrounded by guards. So these guards are on foot? Uh, they are on the coach, like oh, let's riding say, it behind. They got like one driver, one the the guy who's driving the coach. They have another one sitting there, and they have two in the back that you visible can see. Okay, does it look like it's following the other? Yes, coach. Yes. yes. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of blend in with the crowd and then just try to like follow this one closely, like shadow it if I can. Okay. Yes. Other than trying to run and keep up with the first one. Uh, Baragun, uh, also do my athletics roll. Plus 20. Okay. <laughs> Good job there. Minus three success levels. Okay. So. Almost. Okay. Cool stuff. Um, as you're running and you kind of like uh, stumble as the, there is more people, you kind of like fall uh, into the ground. And when you look up, you see this person, this fairy person. His hair is like fairy. His beard is fairy. Got like, you know, red tattoos all over his body. Um, 
and uh, he looks at you and he's like, uh, watch where you're going, he says. Finish him! It's the dwarf, he says. <laughs> yeah. Or actually, actually, I actually have, I actually gonna think like this. James, how, how will uh, Ivan will have respond to this situation? Fine. Ivan. Bump, a dwarf bumping into him. I don't know. I'm not playing Ivan. How will he um, just respond to that? What was he doing? The dwarf just no, fall in was, front of me. What was the human doing? What was, what was Ivan doing? Walking. He was walking, walking in the bridge. Yeah. Oh, okay. mining his own business. oh, sorry for being in your way. <laughs> I didn't see you there. I, I'm normally looking at eye level rather than below. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You look but really familiar. familiar. But, yeah. Um, thanks, I guess. Here, let that... me help you up. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll pat you down. I'll dust you off as well. Sorry. <laughs> hey, hey, have you? You sound awfully familiar as well. Have you seen um gazelle around at all? <laughs> What's a gazelle? He's my bodyguard. Okay. By the way, no. By the way, by the way, this is ten years later. Yeah. So... He's still my bodyguard. Thank you very much. <laughs> Your life. It's old and senile. <laughs> um, I think uh, I think you might have me mixed up with someone else. Oh, sorry. All doors look the same, and then I'm all, and then you walk off. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's gently racist. <laughs> he, she, start, fine. Yeah. And I start well, scanning the crowd to see if I can see Balig anywhere. Now that I'm uh, kind of like. Give me a perception roll plus. Mm, okay, do me a per just a perception roll. I'm bailing. You were uh, you gonna do me a stealth roll? Nice. Marginal failure on my end. You see people. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, but wait. <laughs> I got. Um, I have this. Um, so that's actually a 19. Oh, nice. Well done. done. Right. Good, really that nice. Good that you study Twice. your characters. Good that you said. Okay, so uh, I say no. Yeah. The, you know, the skinny dwarf is like, it's gone. And by the role, by the role, it's like, he's just like a pole at this moment. He's just like a boop. Two-dimensional. Yes, exactly. What do you do? Damn it. Damn it. Um, and I guess I probably punch like something immobile nearby. So like maybe a, a cart that's passing or uh, whatever. <laughs> and I start doubling back to try and find uh, Ferdinand and Salundro. Okay. Um, Balik, you are still running behind the couch. Uh, now you are by the marked place. Uh, I need you to do an endurance roll. Okay. Mm, there it is. Two success levels. Cool. There's a runner, this one. You keep running, you keep running, and you're not feeling tired. Um, can you explain me why, why, why is this happening? Why are you so driven? Uh, I mean, he Bailey just has tunnel vision at this point. He's he's motivated by hatred of these nobles, and also, you know, he wants to find out what happened to his friend. This is more important than anything because he, you know, he blames himself for 
having lost her. And this is the first time he's seen any of these guys in like six months. So this feels like maybe the only chance he has to find her. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, back at the bridge, uh, Baragun, you do connect with uh, Salundro and Ferdinand. Hey, Bergen. You look tired. Yeah, how was your morning <laughs> walk? Um, very unsuccessful. You lost Excellent. me somewhere up on the bridge. I ran into this. You saw you saw draggled our... hairy dude. Just like made some vaguely racist insults at me that were weirdly complimentary, and then just wandered off. <laughs> Yeah, that happens with big cities. Have you seen uh, Eugene? No. Did you oh. send a kid after him? Yeah, he's a runner. And he's tiny. I'm sure he can squeeze and get there quickly. Well, here's your breakfast anyway. <laughs> there, here you go. <laughs> oh. We still need a doctor. Maybe we can so, ask at the customs uh, place if we if we can get a doctor. Just like tip the plate, open my mouth, and <laughs> shovel it in. I'm gonna ask at the customs uh, here to see if uh, they know of any doctor close by. Um, uh, one of the clerk, uh, clerks open up, and uh, he tells you that uh, he knows about the physician skill. Um, and the where, where is that? He's in the Marktplatz. In the yeah. Marketplatz. Yeah. Marketplatz. And is there any doctor around here? What do you do when you are injured or ill or um, uh, sick, or whatever? To get well, healed. Uh, if you have money, you pay for a physician or. You go out of town, you meet a healer. Well, and do you have a healer at hand, or do we have to go to the physician's uh, guild? Uh, the physician's kind of like controls pretty much everything. There is, of course, uh, barber surgeons and other kind of doctors, but it's yeah, not we, really... We need, you we need you are not guarantee here. a good... Uh, Good help. You don't need somebody breaking your arm again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna, she's going to take that. Okay. We'll, we'll go to the market class anyway. By okay. the way, none of you tell her that I did that. Why would we do that? I don't, I don't know. No, but like, just, I, that is just, That's that is, accident. if she finds out that I did that, I'm going to have like four hours of just being yelled at or something. Yeah. That doesn't sound fun. Okay. Yes. Back at the tower. Uh, one second. Back at the tower, as the days have progressed and progressed, um, James, you hear, um, you don't know if it's a dream or, or it's reality, as you see uh, what it seems like. A, can you describe it for me? Uh, I can't actually see what's going on. Because uh -oh. it keeps putting me in fucking either in the top right hand corner or the top bottom corner. Okay. How do you do that, by the way? That was the question I was going to ask. How do you how do you show the token? Uh, chief, and then uh, chief Sita. No, control C. No, chief chief, and then Seta. Chief C. Chief C. Yeah. Sorry. 
Can you do that again? Can I do it? Oh no, only you can do it. Yeah, so shift C for again, please. Shift C. Z. Z. Zeta. Zoo. Because you say Z, I'm English. Zorro. Zorro. There you go. Zorro's a good one. Shift Z, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> Well, he looks kind of fancy with his uh, with his pencil moustache on his face. He's got silver hair. He looks he has a young looking face, but he also looks old with his silver hair. He's got dark eyebrows. Um, he appears to be wearing some form of well, he's well dressed as well, from what I can see. Um, quite suave and sophisticated. Cool. Um. He kind of like gets close to the bed, um, walking slowly and like kind of like. Who analyzing. are you? Who are you? He's like, I'm a friend. He says. Oh boy. Uh, uh, with my left hand, I'm gonna grab. Yeah. The, oh god, who's left? Huh? Yeah, we we lost Brian. Brian. He did say they were having storms, so that could have knocked out his power. Uh, but we'll see. He'll probably post on mobile. Oh. Why am I not? I mean, I'm not. Whoa. It's because Brian There's dropped There's nothing out. I can do. There's something I can do. You're just going to have to accept it. The, uh, cut in half. Yep. It's fine. Accept it, Bohemians. Hey, I'm so uh, so I'm gonna You're grab half the man you used to be. I'm going to grab the pistol in my left hand and just hold it out and, uh, very, very shakily. Who are you? He tells you, my name is Dr. Elderman. And I'm here to help you, he says. Who sent you? Huh? Who sent you? He, sent, he tells you, um, benefactors. Who? I am not in my right to disclose, but um, you can, you may ask, he says, um, uh, your lawyer, he says. All right, I'll put the pistol okay, down. Mother. Who's my lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> Who's my lawyer? Who's yeah. my lawyer? He says, like, we have a common friend. Her name is Susanna, He's, uh, he says. Okay, I'll put the gun let, down. Yeah, I'll, me, I'll put the gun down take, again. Uh, let me take a look of it, he says. Well, if it, I feel like I've got a broken arm. Didn't have a broken <laughs> arm last night, though, so I don't know what happened. Tough night. Tough night, stumbling oh. around, trying to get out of that alleyway. You took a couple of falls. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so you were. <laughs> Okay. Um, he looks at the arm, um, he looks at it and he analyzes it, he, he lifts it, like, ah! uh, he's like, yes, I'm, uh, I'm afraid it's broken. Um, it will take a long while, uh, to get healed, but, uh, I think he will be able to, uh, get back in place, uh. I can make it get back in place and he kind of like uh, gets in in a, a bag, open a bag, takes out like a, what's the name? Um, uh, Whose phone is going off? Don't know. No mind, right? No. <laughs> I think it was Bohemians because the look on his face. <laughs> <laughs> He got he looked like a kid caught in a candy shop with a handful of fucking sugar. <laughs> uh, he takes out some medicine from the bag and he kind of like put it in your arm and injects you with something. Uh, oh immediately you start to feel the arm uh re you're feeling relaxed. Does it go numb? Uh yeah. Excellent. Numb. I'll probably do I pass out again? Uh do me an endurance roll. Oh shit, what? Well. 
I rolled a 13, so I got three success levels. You managed to uh, bite the pain, I would say. Yeah. Which is, I, I wasn't saying about the pain, I was saying because he knocked me out. Uh, to... It's not like knocked you out, it's more like, you know, you feel your body like kind of like this extreme pain all the time constantly to, you know, just be relaxed, you know. Yeah. And it's gone. Yeah. It give you a shot of something. <laughs> he gave you the good stuff. Uh, he starts to uh, come out and he, he pulls, well, uh, and he kind of like takes away his coat, put it in a chair, you know, like watch his hands. And uh, he says like, uh, it will take me a while, but I will make a casket, he says. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, casket? Cast. Yeah. Cast. cast. Okay, yeah. Because cause casket means house is dead. <laughs> Aha, okay. Cast, cast is what, like, broken bones set deal. That's why I'm like, casket? Wait a minute. <laughs> I've come this to help you. This is the end, my friend, the end. <laughs> That was good. Okay. Okay. It's the little things. Elsa, what are you? What are you feeling? Describe me the pain. I wanna like. Well, if he's just giving, if he's giving me a sedative, I probably don't yeah. feel any pain at all, and I. Okay. And I, and Describe I probably, me how you're feeling. I probably feel really lightheaded. I feel like I'm drought. I want to sleep again. Um. I probably feel like I need to like go back to sleep. Maybe, like I said already. Um. I just feel relaxed. I can't probably, you know, any of the uh, pain I had is probably gone away. And, um, yeah, and that's probably about it, really, I, I guess. Okay. Belik and the rest. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing? Uh, probably able to get, we were... We were trying to still find a physician. We're walking to the towards the plaza, yeah. yeah. Yes, that's right. You find yourself in like a two-story building. Um, what's that one? Uh, here. So if you move your tokens, then, uh, the mark plats. Which one was the town hall? Uh, the wherever, where, wherever we were in prison? This was the town hall. And you guys oh. were in prison here. Okay. One uh, second, guys. Where are you guys? No, I'm bringing myself down here. Yeah. Where'd I go? Oh, God. You're up on the other side of the bridge, I think. Yeah. <laughs> It's just very confusing sometimes. It's like, wait, where am I on this map? Oh. Ah! But now... <laughs> Thanks, Danny. What, 34? Yeah, 34. I wish that... I wouldn't do that when you're actively moving a token. Yeah. <laughs> it was to... like hey, this... I've got a hold of a damn token. Don't pull me halfway across the map. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. What is... No, no, no. What? It's not your fault, Danny. Okay. Uh, you guys are, uh, it's, it's around here. Oh. Yeah, uh, you know, really, you can ask when you're in, uh, in the Markplatz and everybody, like, kind of, like, points to the building. Let's go there. Uh, the building is, uh, modest, but it's well appointed. Um, you can see, um, uh, once you get in, it's kind of like a, I would say like a secretary, uh, a woman at the door, and she's like, welcome, how can I help you? He says. Well, thank you for greeting us. We need a doctor. Is there a doctor in the house? Uh, yes, there is three doctors. Excellent. Can uh, we meet uh, any? Is there any available to help us? Do you have a book time? He says. No. 
We have an injured person, an, an injured watchman, watchwoman, actually. Uh -huh, okay, okay. Uh, well, um, she kind of like looks and uh, she says, um, uh, well, uh, uh, fast visits to the, to the physician, uh, to Dr. Otto Krupp, uh, two goals. Yeah, well, I'm sure the city will pay for it. Yeah, you can just, you know, send the bill to the, the city watch office. To yeah. the captain, yeah. Uh, she looks at you and she says, like, um, that's not how it works. <laughs> uh, that's how it works now. This is an emergency. Yeah, yeah. we got we got uh, one of our watch uh, watchmen, watchwoman, that was attacked yesterday and she's very injured. And she it seems she even have a broken arm or something, and she's yeah, lying she in fell. bed in the watchtower. And uh, we need uh, help, like right now. Uh, she looks at you and is like, um, "Well, I'm sorry. Um, if you want to meet o o Doctor Otto Krupp, it will cost two two gold coins." She says, "Yeah." I think you're not understanding it. <laughs> Where's the doctor? Call the doctor and let us talk to the doctor. Uh, she looks at you and still uh, very serious, very like, you know, like. Poker face? Poker face. Definitely <laughs> poker face. Oh, God. Why am I going to try this? Lady. <sighs> you don't want my friend to get angry here. And I yeah. point over at Ferdinand. <laughs> see him. She, she, he, he, okay, do me an intimidation roll. I will give you a plus 20 because the Ferdinand, I guess, is intimidating. In my grimoire, it says I have fearsome. Can I cast fearsome? You can cast fearsome. <laughs> Oh my god, I rolled a one on the success. Oh, 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 oh my god. Okay, let's see how this one plays out. <laughs> First before I rolled that. Jesus Christ. Six level of success and astounding success. Yeah. She looks at you as you say it, and Ferdinand, and she looks at Ferdinand and she's like she's seen death itself. <laughs> yeah, uh, he is a death walker. Uh, I throw up a hood really quick and pull out the scythe. <laughs> uh, she she looks back and you know like just starts to walk in one of the rooms and uh, you hear from the room like a big crying, you know, like some like a woman, <laughs> crying, you know. And uh, guys, uh, I think you pushed it. <laughs> But we don't have two two crowns for that. Two gold crowns! What the hell is wrong with these people? Uh, from one of the room, one of the uh, a doctor, uh, one doctor come out and he's like, "What's happening?" He says, "What's your name, doctor?" My name is Doctor. Um, what's that called? Otto Kraus. Yeah. Otto something. Dr. Otto, yes. Dr. Otto, well, it's a pleasure to meet you. I salute you. We have an emergency and we require services like right now. You have to come with us and uh, come to uh, Rudy's Tower in the, the docks area to uh, help one of the watch uh, women that serves uh, in our company that was uh, injured and attacked yesterday and she needs your services. Attacked. Yeah, he looks. He looks. Uh, She's very al barely alive. He looks in shock and in disgust, and uh, he kind of like screams, uh, uh, "What? Uh, what are you trying to say? You know, like, I, are you insulting me? You know, like, who are you? You know, who who are you to bargain here and tell me what to do? Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, we are Same the watchmen. Way. And yeah, we're the city watch, as you can see in our uniform, and uh, we require your services right now. The city requires your services. Um, so are you going to cooperate or do we have to use force to make you cooperate? You have uh, two options. 
<laughs> he looks you do seem to have a lot of things around this office that look expensive and breakable. Um, as he's screaming, it's like he, he starts to scream, you know, like really loud. He puts his arm out and he's like, get out, get out from my place. You know, you, you guys so have, you know, authority. You are nothing, you know, and kind of like, like points. Oh, out. That's uh, good for me. That's good enough for me. I'm on him. <laughs> okay. I run and I, and I just slap his face. <laughs> <laughs> You're hysterical, doctor. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Are you losing it? Uh, he kind of like um uh, after you slap him, he's like kind of like in shock, you know, uh as you're slapping him. He's like turning, what what are you doing? You know, from one of the other doors, some uh older woman comes out. Uh and she's she's like What's going on? What's he screaming? And, you know, like, she's, like, very concerned. Don't you well, worry, ma'am. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> what We're, are you uh, doing with Dr. Otto? <laughs> so, I grab him by the vest, and I take him out. You kind of, like, throw him out? No, no. I'll, I'll just carry him out. <laughs> you know, <Yeah>. like... <laughs> The City Watch has need of uh, Dr. Otto's services, and unfortunately, he's not being particularly forthwith with them. So, uh, don't worry, nobody will be harmed. This is simply a matter of life and death. Oh, oh, oh doctor, doctor, get your, your suitcase or whatever you need uh, to fix our friend. Um, he looks insulted and he's like, You all gonna pay for this? This is not, not no. right. The city guard will pay for this. This yeah. is a customary thing for that you're doing for the city. Uh, as you, as he screamed that, you guys see from two corners uh, coming uh, what it seems like altar first. Excellent. Party is, uh, is getting... <laughs> We're getting to a party. These assholes what, again. What would soldiers do, be here? Anyway, is he going to get his suitcase? Or should I take him to take his suitcase? What Whatever is doctor is... Uh, how you call the doctor's uh, the black uh, bag? What, medicine bag? Yeah. Um, Solyndro, maybe you should uh, take him out back and I can try and stall the guards. I don't mind taking a fist or two. <laughs> No, we're not here to break anybody's uh, face oh, or I, arms or legs. Um. I know. I'm just, I'm thinking it might be unavoidable with these Altdorfers coming. No, no, we'll, we'll take them. We'll uh, use, uh, back in the room, uh, Elsa, uh, when you wake up, um, the doctor is not there. Uh, you get one wound now. Oh! One wound. Whoa. And you're naked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you wake up, you have your arm uh, stall in the... The cast. Yeah, in the cast. And um, you're feeling a lot better. You still feel, you know, weak. Uh, you look at the wounds of the stabs and the cuts and they're like really well bandaged and, you know, yeah. Are you feeling a lot more, much better? What is your thoughts? The doctor is not there when you wake up. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call out, doctor. No answer. No nothing. I'm gonna try and get up then. Okay. Um. We will do this. Um. Durance test. Yeah, and endurance, yeah. Marginal failure, so I probably don't even get out of bed. Um, you kind of like, the pain is too much in the stomach, you know. Uh, at this moment, you're feeling like really, really hungry, though. You could potentially use your fortune. I don't want to use my fortune. 
Sure. Right. Okay. Peer pressure. All right. <laughs> I'll reroll it. Like the weakest peer pressure ever. I know. It's good, isn't it? Success. I've got two success levels. Uh, you managed to uh, able to like get up. Still, you know, you're like tumbling when you walk. You know, you're yeah, like stumbling. Yeah. And yeah. All right. Well, I'll probably use like I'll probably use like furniture as a stabling. Like I'll use well, my left hand I'll use as a stable. You know, to try try and I'll probably walk backwards as well. Well. Mm, uh, is there a chair? I'll grab a chair and fucking move and push the chair forward and then follow the chair and use that almost like a fucking walking stick. <laughs> just, just like a granny walker. But no, but with one hand because the other hand's broken, isn't it? Because uh, some true. fucking idiot broke my hand. Oh, my. Uh, <laughs> it fell on it. We know that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to go. Yeah. So I'll go into the other room. And then realise how I'm going to do stairs, and I'll just sit at a fucking table. So yeah, so okay. I'll, I'll just go in the other room, and then I'll just give up and sit down. Okay. At the table. Uh, you grab some. You see some some stuff to eat, like maybe like a piece of bread, you know, like oh, or. You know. uh, well, I'll rip the moldy bits off. And I'll, I'll like the dry bit. I'll pull. I'll pull the whatever. So if it's dry, so if, if it's dried off, I'll try and rip it apart and get into the centre bit, which may not be as dry and stale. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just, I'll just with my left hand, while my right hand's just holding it, I'll just try and pull the bit, you know, bit of bread off and you know eat the middle bit rather than trying to bother with the crust. Cool. One second. Okay, what's happening with the 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 rest of you three? Escorting that doctor back. You see a couple. You see more of these cars coming. I say, hey, what's going on over there? We're escorting a doctor. Um, he he looks at you. He's like. With what authority, he says. Who are you? What are you we're, doing here? I never we're seen part you of, before. We're says. part of the watch. Ah. Aha. And he kind of like laugh and he looks at to the side to his bodies. You know, there's a couple of them. And it's like, it's one of the, the worst comps in the city. Look at them, yeah. boys. And they kind yeah. of like laugh at you so guys. So funny, so funny. We're still in a hurry because we got an injured watchman uh, in the barracks. So we have to take the doctor. So please stand out of the way. Uh, the doctor kind of like talk and he's like, they're taking me against my will. Can I like, try and jab him in the ribs as he tries to talk? To stifle him? <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. You kind of like, okay, yeah. Yeah, but, like I want to like jam him in the ribs to shut him up. He kind of like screams in pain, you know, like gives a growl. Uh, immediately you see the tension of the place just, you know, like boils, you know. Um, and from the corner, you guys hear like somebody um, whistling. <laughs> and you see a couple of uh, another town watch turning around the corner. What the hell is this? Is this a, like a, a bee house full of uh, town of uh, guardsmen? Well, we continue walking anyway, straight on. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. Um, as you guys. Um, Turn, you know, like try to pass. You guys see the, the what's the name? The altar fair. It's like, hey, you ain't going nowhere. And from behind um, comes um, what it seems like, uh, yeah, a, 
another group of town guard they catch up and it's like hey stop it says like what are you doing do we have to repeat ourselves every time how many of you are you like rats multiplying during the day stay out of the way we're in a hurry and we don't have time for you guys uh why has need of commandeering this doctor's services um a more refined uh kind of uh town watch kind of like gets in front and he's like uh my name is sergeant one second uh, so not a town watch a guardsman no? a town watch oh uh i'm sergeant Leon leonhardt sean <laughs> let me write Juan, Sean. Sean, yeah. Yeah. Well, Sergeant, I salute you. My name is uh, Salundro von, uh, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're from the town watch uh, across the river, and we need the service of this doctor because one of our men has been injured, attacked by uh, barbarian doctor, dockers, and we need uh, the doctor's service right now. So it's a matter of life tell, and death. Yeah, please tell you men to stand down and step aside because uh, we're in a hurry. Uh, they kind of like, uh, they tell you, release that man right now. Is that the sergeant talking or is that one of the guys? Yeah, the sergeant. Sergeant, do you know Sergeant Rudy? Uh, he kind of like... Um, Put, you see the green on his face? Like, yeah. We're, on, we're here on his authority. Um, he turns around. Rudy told you to beat Dr. Otto? He we're says, not beating him. We're taking him. And he's not cooperating. So we have to do what we have to do. <laughs> you know what it's like. Uh, he kind you of must like with people that are uncooperative. Uh, he turns <laughs> around and he's uh, uh, surprised and serious. He, he looks at you again and he says, "Like release this man right now." Um, he says, "I'm sure you don't want to get, I mean, involved with uh, Captain Felfer, but not. if we have to involve uh, Captain Felfer, we'll involve Captain Felfer here." Uh, and he kind of like tells you, sure, he says. So you can come with us and the doctor and we can go and see Captain Pfeffer. Uh, he tells you, we go and see Captain Pfeffer immediately, he says. Exactly, with the doctor. <laughs> yep, okay. With the doctor. Uh, um, let's see. Do me a intimidate or leadership, I guess. I don't know. I will do, do leadership. leadership. Yeah, yeah, I'll do leadership. <laughs> uh, you have any modifiers? Uh, I could, could, I could yeah. try to be intimidating, but I don't know if that would help with your leadership or hinder it. Yeah, I don't think. Just look mean. Don't need to. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I just want to look <laughs> kind of like imposing for them to question whether or not they should, you know, want to fight us. You, you and Ferdinand with his robe, uh, I mean, his, uh, and his sight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, modifiers? Uh, no modifiers. There oh, well, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a uh, plus 10. So that's perfect. Pass. Yeah. I pass, yeah. Uh, your aura of noble, I guess, kind of like, you know, you have an authority, you know, uh, as you. Uh, it's like, uh, uh, he says like, okay. He says, and he kind of asks you to follow him, you know, and the, the what's the name? The Reg Regland soldiers, they kind of like look a little bit disappointed and, you know, like kind of like start to say things to the um, to the town watch as they are escorting you. And you can hear them kind of like 
uh, discussing against each other, you know, telling uh, different insults. Excellent. I don't yes. care about them. Yes. I've been called worse. Yeah, we don't we don't care about those uh, grumpy soldiers. Okay. Um, well, Belik is gone. And... <laughs> he's yeah. he's running. He did it did kind of align decently there at least that he ran off and then Brian's connection dropped. <laughs> Just kind of like easily put him out of the way. Yeah, like it was convenient. <laughs> but at the same time, it was like, the fuck? <laughs> I think it was just a storm. No, no, for sure. Elsa, back in the building. What's up? Why am I not sitting down? Why am I in between doors? I want to know. Um... What what are your feelings about what just transpired in the last hours? What, what do you mean? Yeah. For being what attacked or what? Yeah, yeah. I mean, wh what's going on in your mind? I well, she I feels like so. Violent, she, so you know. she's she's very angry. Mm. Um, she's annoyed that her arms has been broken, and if she ever finds out who did it. Uh, they're gonna be shouted to for four four and a half hours. <laughs> Not just four hours, four and a half hours. Four, four, bonus time, and, and it will be constantly brought up because you know. Mm -hmm. Um, she's frustrated with herself for not. She perhaps she should have run rather than fucking tried fighting, but she thought there was only two of them. Um, she's determined to get her gun back, um, her other gun, and she will literally, once she's better and things are, and she's on, on the mend or mended, she's gonna start tracking down the people that have stolen her other gun. Um, and if not, she's gonna make the people who have stolen her gun pay. Oh, and she's gonna find out who, 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 who put the order out for her to be attacked as well and they're gonna pay cool that's a lot of pain so she's sitting there slowly eating dry bread just like <laughs> so, ima so imagine so imagine it's a loaf of bread right and it's stale so yeah. she's ripped the front off where it's all dried and she's just picking at the bits inside you know she's like because tr when very it, intensely just you like you know that the fungi won't stop it will just it's the whole bread that is that's rolling, right so well if it doesn't kill her it make her stronger yeah. exactly. penicillin. this is this is the time that she could use some penicillin exactly so she just she just she doesn't know what it is she's just eating she well <laughs> first of all most no one's brought her any food uh she's not too sure we, what time time of day we it bought is. you some food where we have it we, we bring it well, that's no fucking good doctor? is it that's hey. with you not with me <laughs> oh excuse us for going to get you a doctor well, it only takes one person to get a fucking doctor. No, no, look, three of us, yeah. and we're not there and you, yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're all, you're all going <laughs> to be in the shit. It is apparently significantly complicated to get a doctor. Yeah, it's called kidnapping. Um, <laughs> uh, no, no. So kidnapping she's, if it's if you're doing it against the law, but so, we are the law. So she doesn't know. No, that's still kidnapping. <laughs> She still commandeering. She thinks everyone's abandoned her because no one's here. Guiding uh, on a life choice. That's um, what we're doing with the doctor. Guiding on a life choice. So yeah, so her yeah, so yeah, so that's her faults right now. Is she's very angry. She's angry at everyone. Um, no she's gonna, I can understand. She knows she's understand. gonna. So she knows she's not gonna be lenient towards the dock workers at all. Mm -hmm. So if they do anything, she's gonna bring the full book of the law down on them. Empire, as as only we would expect her to. And yeah. as the as as you sit in there, you know, thinking <laughs> of anger and the, you know, with some. If their voice to... turns up, she's just gonna tell it to fuck off. <laughs> no voice, no voice at this time. Okay, cool. Um, let's finish there for today. Right. Yeah. Um, God.
This has been fun. This was a good one. Like, if, if you were f- feeling the last one was soulless, I feel like this one got some soul in it. Cool. cool. <laughs> Very salty cool. soul for me, though. Oh. You've been nothing but a salt mine for the past two sessions, James. Good. You deserve it. I, I feel like I've been role-playing the perfect wizard. I'm playing my character. I was even more Look stark. intimidating. <laughs> Look intimidating. <laughs> so, by yeah, exactly. the way, the other thing I discovered as well about these yeah. pregens, uh, we'll so do maybe it. we should close yeah, and we'll, then we'll talk close about and it. then do it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's do mm-hmm. shout outs. Let's finish. By the way, you guys get uh, two hundred. Yes. 50, 50 oh, experience oh. points. Fifty. Fifteen or fifty. 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 Okay. Okay. And plus something. Brian gets uh, eight, uh, gets 40, because... <laughs> Do we get 50 XP? Yep. Yeah. Um, let's see. We did recover Elsa. That should be extra XP. <sighs> mm. <She was> lost. <laughs> lost and bleeding. Um, I terrified uh, a nurse <laughs> and still... a doctor. <laughs> That's still... We're commandeering the doctor, and he's coming almost willingly. Almost. Almost. And we didn't fight the soldiers. <laughs> that was very noble of us. I mean, I was ready to take out my sword and. Okay, I will give you another 20 experience points. Woohoo! 70. Yes. Okay, uh, let's end it here. All right. Phew. All right. Um, let's start with Claytor. Hi. I'm Claytor22. Uh, I stream on twitch.tv slash Claytor22. I tweet on at Claytor22. Um, I streamed twice this week. Uh, one was Fly Rancher, one was my new interview show. Feel free to come and drop by. I already have more guests lined up. Uh, and that makes me happy. I feel it's a good show. Um, I may stream tomorrow some more Slime Rancher because that's Oddly fun. I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I am. Um, except for the beginning where, like, my tar, like, I made tar and it ate all my chickens and shit, and then I got really sad. It was also funny as fuck. I think that was uh, the point where I was not there and you were screaming like you were in Troll 2. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, anyways, yeah, come watch me. Uh, I'll be here Sunday, and I'm always here Thursday, unless, like, James wants me to leave, and I will. All right, Bohemians? Well, I'm Bohemians. It's a pleasure always to be here on Thursday, a great uh, space of enjoyment and fun and adventure, and um, I'll see you next Thursday. That's the only stream I have uh, with uh, all these folks in James Court. (laughs) Mr. Fishy. Hey, I'm Potato underscore Fishy on a bunch of the internet things. Uh, I'm here on Sundays and Thursdays playing role-playing games on James's channel. And uh, occasionally I do stream on my Twitch channel. It's been an intermittent year, but nonetheless, I will be around sometimes. So if you if, if that is your jam, you can follow me on those places, the Twitter, the Instagram, all that shit. But otherwise, come hang out here if you enjoy the show. Danny? Well, my name is Danny. Uh, another week, another adventure, and it's really, really having fun with you guys. So um, everybody that watch, thank you very much. And uh, I see you next week. Maybe. If you're lucky. If you're lucky. By that point, James will be nothing but salt. Yep. I'll just, I'll just put. A, just be a sentient pile of salt. Yep. Uh, 
So guys, don't forget to check out my Bohemian uh, Bohemians. Uh, <laughs> check to... out my Bohemians. Look at him. He's a good guy. Uh, don't forget. Uh, don't forget if you want to support the channel, think about either <laughs> subscribing to me on Twitch, or if you don't want to do that, then think about doing Patreon. That'd be most appreciated. Um, and also, don't forget to check out our social media that we have. Uh, you can find. All of us on Discord that was in a link below. Plus, check out my Twitter for any f future things. Facebook, I pretty much use the same as Twitter. And then uh, don't forget to, if you watch or use YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe the video and, you know, check out all my other videos. But other than that, thank you everyone for watching and we will see you all next week.